previously on Plotagon Prehistoric World. The protagonists went to a beach, and then they came across the Mosasaurus. Then they got surrounded by a group of Velociraptors and returned to their tents. What happened next? Watch the episode to find out. You know, I think that we should probably go looking for dinosaurs sometime tonight. But what if a T-Rex is on this island? Don't worry, Melody. I'm sure we would be fine if we just left the big carnivores alone. Let's just hope nothing bad happens like earlier today when Henry was nearly eaten by the Mosasaurus. Hey, I think the Velociraptors were worse. You know, I think we should just look for dinosaurs until it starts to get dark. Yeah! That's a great idea. Oh my god, what is that thing? Wow, that's a Megatherium, also known as the giant ground sloth. Well, looks like we found the first prehistoric mammal on this trip. When did this giant sloth exist? The Megatherium lived from 2 million years ago to 180,000 years ago. Wow, that's pretty cool. Wait, where did Jared go? I have no idea. Oh my god, guys, a herd of Triceratops is coming. That's not all. There's a lot of other herbivores. Hey Henry, what is that dinosaur with the thick head? That's a Pachycephalosaurus. Wow! There is a Stegosaurus over there. Ah! Great! Now it's raining. Well, we should get back to our camping tent. You. I stepped in a puddle. That's a pretty weird looking puddle. With the shape and size of that puddle, it can only mean one animal. I knew this was a bad idea. We should have listened to you. Come on guys, let's get out of here before it eats us. Alright, we just need to get into that tree over there. Yes, we've escaped the T-Rex.